All right, let's bring in a defender of faith in Canada around the globe, Pastor Archer Pulaski. Welcome back to Victory News, sir. Thank you so much for having me back on your show. I, I want to ask you about the story that was just we just heard where rumors of an Orthodox Jewish community turned to conservative candidates the past few years in elections in New York. And now the effort of the state and the city to exert control on those Jewish schools as a response to failing supporting Democrats. Should a religious school have to follow secular state curriculum? No, what we are observing right now is an attempt of um, taking over, indoctrinating. I mean, you got to remember tyrants hate competition. So uh, people of religion, people that believe in God are uh, a immediate threat thread uh, to the governments. I grew up uh, behind the Iron Curtain under the boots of the Soviets, communists and socialists, and they absolutely uh, were doing everything in their power to eliminate any form of fate. Your fate, according to them, is um, it must be directed at the state. You are to worship the state. You are to obey without questioning the state. So any religion, anyone that dares to say, hey, but there are higher laws, higher standards, it, be it becomes uh, immediately a target. Yeah, you know firsthand what starts with the Jewish schools will end up being the Christian schools as well. Now, you posted a powerful video on social media challenging Canada's, quote, new saviors in elected office. Here's a short clip of it. Show me one politician right now in the country, one, either MLA or member of parliament, that's actually standing for the people. Just one, anyone, just one, please. You say all Canadians who are fighting for citizens' freedoms are under attack from the government. Why are there no politicians fighting for Canada? Well, first of all, it has uh, it become uh, very unpopular to stand for um, the average Joe, for average uh, Canadian. Um, we are being run by elites. Uh, we're being run by uh, globalists. So those are the um, young new leaders uh, of Canada, all of them. I mean, we have one party line right now, um, different colors, but just one party. They're all chirping the same thing. Uh, believe it or not, there is not one MLA or a member of parliament that is speaking for us. Uh, for for the past three years, we have been raped repeatedly by our own government, by institutions, justice system, educational system, um, uh, healthcare system, and yet no one is standing up for us. So either they're bought. Uh, or blackmailed. I had uh, people in my house suggesting that 86% uh, of Canadian politicians are either uh, bribed or uh, blackmailed as we speak right now. So um, the reaction, you know, the, the situation here it, it proves that. Yeah, that's what we're seeing in America as well. Now tell us about Street Church and what you're doing and how the Lord is using that. Well, uh, very early on, I started to work with the homeless people. I was a businessman and I decided that I cannot live just for myself. And uh, I knew how to organize an organization that would actually save lives. So we took it to the streets. Uh, we created a church for the homeless people. It's called Street Church. Uh, we feed thousands of people. And actually, believe it or not, it was that activity that got me in trouble over and over again. 340 citations, 16 arrests, and over 120 court cases because the government government was demanding that I stop taking care of the homeless. I stop uh, telling them uh, the messages of hope. Wow. To that point, do you think Canadians will change the declining course you're seeing with their vote at the ballot box? And can it be done at the ballot box? Yes, eventually. I mean, through the hardship. I remember years ago, God spoke to me and said um, they rejected my love, my mercy, my grace, but I will have my re revival, but they will come through the fire. When he said that, I immediately knew Canadians are going to be hurting. Uh, Canadian economy is collapsing. Fiat currency is collapsing. Uh, people are losing homes uh, every day. 25% of Canadians are about to lose their homes. So I believe through the hardship, they will start crying out uh, to God and he will replace the evil people in political arena for someone that will actually work for them and not against them. You certainly are leading that cause, Pastor. Uh, Pastor Archer, back to you in just a moment. Mike, I want to encourage you to something now. Every time you find money laying around, pick it up and do that very thing. Do I trust you today? Place your trust in God, not in the government. He's the one that has the answers. The government does not. Let me give you a verse for this. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your understanding. and all your ways acknowledge him, he shall direct your paths. Pastor Arthur in, in Canada, he trusts God.
you should too. 877-281-6297 is the phone number, 877-281-6297. Lord, we trust you today. We trust you. We trust you. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. They put that man in prison, he'll get them all saved.